Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello everybody. Welcome back to One Who Seeks. All right, it's been a couple days. Um, trying to pull our fifth wheel out of the mud. 18 inches deep. So, anybody feeling stuck right now? Um, it definitely feels like the energy that's happening. Alright, take a deep breath. Alright, welcome to the one who seeks. Where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive reader. Tarot is about using your intuition. Unleashing your inner unconscious, bringing it conscious. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today we are going to do the three card spread of love, career, and personal. <clears throat> Let's uh, dive deeper into what's going on in your life right now and um, these three different categories. I invite in all that is loving to join us in this collective reading. Anything that is not loving, I thank you for your service and I ask that you leave. This is for your greatest good and for the good of others. Okay, let's have some fun. All right. Angels, we want to know about our love, career, and personal today. What is it that we need to know? What is going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at those. Oh, these are jumpers. <clears throat> wow. Those came out really fast. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to take them because they came out so fast. But there are literally only three here. And it works out perfectly for our spread. They wanted to be here. They showed themselves. I mean, overall, looking at this, you have a very good sense of joy and <clears throat> self-expression. Inner peace. Not really giving a shit about what anybody else thinks in the world. You're just in the moment. You're feeling it. You're feeling good. <clears throat> you're beating on your drum. The horses are dancing in the background. You have a lot of passion and fire. You're really in love here. You're in love with yourself. You 
feeling like a kid again, you're feeling like a teenager. <clears throat> Get a lot of energy. This is loving yourself. And then here in your career, we have a lot of <clears throat> other people poking at you. This, this could be your bosses. Uh, if you work in some sort of corporate world, this could be, you know, any number of people, HR, uh, <laughs> CEO, I don't, you know, I don't know, vice president, assistant manager, manager, uh, co-workers. They're all kind of poking at you, right? Everybody always wants something from you. Whether it's good or bad, right? But in this work situation, of course, people want something from you because you're here for a reason. <clears throat> but you are in your own power. You have this bubble of protection. You have this shining light coming from your sacral chakra. Your gut feelings, you are very on top of it. <clears throat> You have a, a really good understanding of what you need to be doing for your career that this, these people poking you, doesn't bother you at all. All right, and this one's actually like poking this bubble. These ones are all down below the cushions. This one could actually be your boss. You know, these are your coworkers. And your boss is realizing that you're unpenetrable. They cannot burst this bubble. No matter what they do. Because you are in your own. You have so much love for yourself. That you're unstoppable. And you go with your gut. Whatever feels right to you. You're very authentic. You're strong. You even have some muscles here. Showing your muscle. <clears throat> this reminds me of that, uh, I think it was a Netflix movie about the Mavericks. And um, actually it was the Lightning Bolt Surfboards. Can't remember the guy's name. Very legendary. Um out of Hawaii, but he would meditate every time he was about to go out and surf. So um, when there was a competition and everybody else was rushing around and getting ready to go out and to these big waves, he'd be sitting on the beach there meditating by himself. Um, probably looking a little crazy to some people, but it was the way that he connected with the waves. And then, then when he was surfing, it just looked so magical and so easy um, and beautiful. And he was just, he became one with the wave. It was uh, quite amazing. Um, if you can look it up <clears throat> or if you already know who it is. Um, it's a quite uh, an extraordinary story. And this is what this reminds me of. Um, you just become one with what you're doing. And on your personal level here, you just have a lot of joy because you're in love with yourself and you, you feel really good in your career. You feel very stable. You just feel great. This kind of reminds me of being like abducted by aliens. Um, her necklace is being like pulled off of her chest. She's standing on the ground here, barefoot. She's grounding. She's getting her vitamin D. She's getting a lot of energy and force coming from the sunshine. You know, if we didn't have the sun, we wouldn't be here on earth. You're shining your light. So anyway, this necklace reminds me of like aliens abducting you and, and having that force like sucking you up. 
So maybe you're, you're moving up to another dimension, like another level of vibration. And you're just kind of going with it. Um, you're not struggling to stay here. You, you want to be beamed up here. Personally, you're really looking inward to finding that joy. And this is a 19, it's a 10, <clears throat> which is endings and new beginnings. Okay. Um, seven of Wands. So this would be like seven days. This is very fast moving. You know, within the next week here. This is your energy. And you just have this really carefree sense of just learning and growing in just all aspects of your life. Everything's very balanced. You feel very good. You know, you're just enjoying it. You're enjoying the, the ride. You're enjoying the music. You're sitting and meditating. You're becoming one with your higher spirit, your inner self, your inner knowing. We have all these little white dots. I don't know if every card in this deck has those little white dots, but there's little white dots speckled all over. It's almost like a painter. And they flick their paintbrush, Bob Ross, you know, and he would flick it to get all that water and paint off of the brush. And then, you know, it splatters everywhere. You're creating this beautiful canvas of your life. You could literally be an artist and you're really coming up right now. It's what is that saying? Um, it's not the whole picture. It's the sum of its parts, right? There's so there's something in the details. Right, and maybe there's something that you need to be looking for in your meditation. <clears throat> Some particular signs that are coming through. We have like a symbol here in the sun. Looks like a flower. She's grounding here. She's meditating here. She's just hanging out in the dirt here, getting dirty. Oh. You know, she's not well, particularly grounding. I can't tell if she has her shoes off or not. Um, you know, her skin's not touching the ground, so it's not technically grounding, even though she is on the ground. You have so much passion and fire, and you're moving towards this really quickly. You're already there. You know, it's within this week. Yeah. <clears throat> clarification here. All right. What is happening this week? Oh, 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 these cards don't seem to fit at all, but they have jumped out. Let's see what we got. So, I feel like the fight is over. The pain is over. Everything that you went through to get to here was very hard. It was not easy at all. Um, it took a lot of planning, a lot of fighting. 
a lot of struggle and pain. A lot of decisions that need to make, be made to get here. All right, because maybe if you weren't in this bubble here, you would be fighting these people back here. This is seven wands again. This is the same card. It's about your spirituality and coming to it quickly. Regardless of what other people think. You know, sometimes people think that you're crazy when you're spiritual, right? Because it's this unknown, it's this thing that you can't see. Um, and if you don't have a very strong sense of self and a belief system and a knowing, you might just think it's crazy. It just looks crazy. Sometimes I feel crazy. But there are just too many coincidences, synchronicities, signs, things that happen all the time that keep telling me, no, you're not crazy. This is not a coincidence. This is a sign. This is a synchronicity. This is us telling you that we are here and we are guiding you and you're either on the right path or you're not. And because of all this hard work that you went through, there was this offering and you took it. You took it by the handle, you have control of it. You are the queen or king of your own domain. You're not gonna let anybody else stand in your way. You're not gonna let these old limiting beliefs, patterns, bad habits, things like that, um, emotional turmoil, trauma, that's not gonna, it's not gonna hold you back anymore. You're done fighting. So this is being offered to you this week. Okay, the all-knowing. We have fertility, potential, powerful, creative energy. Um, in, in, oh my gosh. I cannot read words <laughs> like ever. Um, annotation energy. Annotation. Energy. So I'm feeling a little frustrated, right? Because I can't read this. Um, I'm in my infancy here. I haven't learned how to speak or read or write yet. So this is about potential. If you keep practicing, you know, you start to become more comfortable, more aware of what's happening, how to do things, things like that. Powerful creative energy, right? This is your powerful creative energy here, which is just becoming born because you were just offered that this week. So you're giving birth right now. to this energy. Energy field adjustment or cleansing and health, right? We're getting rid of this. We're no longer fighting. We're getting rid of that energy. 
there's that bubble again. See, there's a bubble here as well, right? You're in this bubble. You're becoming reborn. You're adjusting your energy, which is making your health better because all aspects of your life are going really well. This is six, this is harmony. Eight, it's about hard work and manifestation, right? Here's your hard work, here's your manifestation, being reborn. getting very creative here having peace and harmony you're becoming reborn north node life's purpose 41 that's a five it's all about changes it looks like this angel here is it's kind of like a heart with the wings and they're busting out of the the ground here as a resurrection, being newly reborn. This is your North Node. All right, life's purpose. What is your life's purpose? Look up your North Node. Go to any one of the many birth chart sites where you put in um, the time that you were born and your name, where you were born, and it will tell you where the planets were at that precise time. And that, that special code just for you on what is your life's purpose. My life's purpose is emotional healing. Right? This is that emotional healing. You know, the purpose of life is to be joyful. You know, there's so many things that happen in life that can tear you down and make you feel so depressed and feel like you're fighting constantly and you're wondering why me. But that's not your life's purpose and you do have the choice. You always have the power of choice on how you want to feel. You can control your emotions and it doesn't matter necessarily what your situation is all the time. I mean, sometimes, yes, it does. You know, if you're in an abusive relationship with someone, you should definitely safely get out of that um, and not try to make that work out. That's not for your highest good. But there are so many choices that you make every day. You probably make hundreds of choices in a day. I'm not even sure what the, the actual statistics of that is. Um, but I'm sure it's in the hundreds. How many choices you make in one day? You can make this choice. It's an action. 10th house, the world. The world is in your hands. This one came up the other day too. 1243. This is also about your spiritual connection. The world is in your hands. You, you are ruling this world. You are the sun, right? You give energy to the world. This is your life's pur purpose it's to help others gain this perspective, get over this and gain this. You are helping others by helping yourself. But you do have to love and help yourself first. Before you can start helping the world. Looks like you're in a really good spot. 
Yeah, you you're over this now. You can you can be done thinking about it. You can be done feeling it. The burn. The stabs. The challenges. They're gone. But because you have all of this is the only reason you were able to get to all of this. Right? This is overarching. It's like a whole bridge I have here. A beautiful energy that you're sharing with the world. But this is because of the underlying knowledge that you have and the pain that you've already gone through. Otherwise, you wouldn't know this. You wouldn't know how to help others. You had to learn something, right? There's more little dots here all over these cards, right? The Painter's Palette. Bob Ross. Love Bob Ross. Poor guy. He was totally taken advantage of, though. You know, there's also a show on Netflix about Bob Ross. And he was very loving towards animals and nature. And was a very happy-go-lucky guy. There, there are no mistakes in life, right? You make a mistake, it's a happy tree. It's a happy bird. Right? Because the things that we go through in life is what challenges us to move forward, to move up to aspire to better things. And with age and wisdom comes helping others. You can share your, your challenges and have the advice. All right, so maybe you are some sort of a healer. You know, pretty much any healer that you see out there, any psychiatrist, psychologist, doctor, you know, anybody who's trying to help somebody else has usually started that because of something that has happened in their life, either to them or to a loved one. And it took them down this path of research to figure out what was wrong with this person, right? How do I help this person that I love or how do I help myself? And then they, it becomes a career for them later on because they have so much knowledge from it now. It's something that's divinely led in your life's purpose. How do you show up in this world? And you spread that joy, spread that knowledge. This is a beautiful reading for you. Um, continue on doing what you're doing. <laughs> um, I'm very excited for you for this week. You're going to be feeling really good. There's a new beginning. Uh, connect with your spirit. Don't lose that. It's your life purpose so that you can share with the world. Thank you for being here, One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. If you liked this reading, please like, share, and subscribe so that others can get the same benefit. And it really helps out the channel. All right, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here. 
in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.